Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Mr. Stefanski, his comments about Kareem Hunt asking for the ball more. Does this guy care about winning at all? Because you are not going to win with this guy as coach. All he cares about is the health of his players, which is okay to do, but you also need to care about winning. The only reason why we are where we are right now with a winning record is two words, defense. It has nothing to do with his offense. He does not have his finger on the pulse of this team, I don't believe. That's my rant for today. Take care, guys. Bye. And um, so the, the other thing is, this is a chart of spending. So he's, he's worried about the organization and caring about winning. Um, the organization is spending $239 million in 2021, 276 in 2022, 286 uh, 2023. That's 802 million total. That's most in the NFL. The second most is the New York Jets, who are spending six, almost 70 million, almost 60 million less. They're 744. So they're spending a lot of money to uh, try to put a winner on the field. It hasn't worked out the way they want to, but it isn't for a lack of trying. No, it's not for a lack of trying. I mean, especially when you give out that kind of contract to Deshaun Watson, in my opinion, a ridiculous contract to give to Deshaun Watson um, with all the off-field stuff going on. And also, you just he hasn't played football in two years. So uh, to give him a fully guaranteed deal, it makes him one of the highest paid players ever after everything that went on with him. Wasn't very prudent, in my opinion, and that's why they're kind of pot committed to this whole Deshaun Watson thing and see how it plays out. And they're hoping he can get back to the uh, level of play he was showing in Houston. But, yeah, I mean, they, they are spending a lot of money on, on a lot of different players. And Miles Garrett is one of the highest paid player defenders, and for good reason. Uh, and he's showing why this year. But, yeah, I mean, they're not – let's face it. They're not going to get to where they want to be unless number four drastically improves and starts looking like what he's supposed to look like for the Browns to invest this much money and this much, like I said, draft capital. In them. 